somebody and you all make a choice, like a little democracy, you all make a choice of where you want to go. Well, that's just fine. And you don't have to. Well, I'm wondering about the company. You keep in the air. Hey, I'm gonna read you a speech that I wrote for my speech class. Um, it, it's fairly short, but it has to stay under about three minutes or so. Um, and I'm most certainly gonna be able to read it faster here th than um, in the class. So, and it's a debate speech too, so I mean other people are gonna join in and whatnot. Uh, but I thought that I would read it out and get rid of the other what is anarchism. When you think chaos, do you think anarchy? For what reasons would you associate chaos with anarchy? Could it be that the constant pushing towards that belief by mainstream media and our, and our political leaders has sunk in over the years? It makes sense that those who only seek one-sided information will only get one-sided information. Keep in mind that there are a number of accurate and informative independent news and information sources. The fact of the matter is that anarchy is not the state of chaos but the state of an anarchistic existence. If you travel through the history of the word anarchy, you will find it simply means lack of authority in government. But, this, but it is important to keep in mind that, this is, that that is the very root of a word that is ever growing. Over the ages, a political philosophy, anarchism, was formed. This philosophy pushes on the theory that the human species can survive and sustain themselves without the use of oppressive, authoritative, centralized governments and replacing them with mutual aid and voluntary agreements. With that being said, it is in fact possible and likely that there will be small governments formed by anarchists that personally fit their wants and needs. This theory can be supported by the forming of many branches of anarchism like anarcho-primitism, anarcho-feminism, anarcho-communism, anarcho-Christianity, and many more. I would be lying if I said there has not been chaotic events in our history. It should be expected, considering we are fighting to own ourselves in a world that pushes their ownership upon us. Do not be misguided by these few individuals who snap from the stress of the movement. These acts of violence are not directed at people, they are directed at the businesses that keep the oppressive societies funded and running. There was a time when a well-known radical anarchist and feminist, Emma Goldman, contemplated assassination. But she quickly dismissed those theories. Emma Goldman is now one of the most noted anarchists and feminists of our time, and, and even has support from well-known school and organizations like UCLA and the Emma Goldman Clinic, the first woman-owned and operated health care center in the Midwest. Anarchists are painted by the government and their associates with a violent scene, but upon looking into it, you will most likely find an incredible amount of commonalities between anarchism and your own political stance. Anarchism history, anarchism's history is age-old, and it would take just as long to explain it all. There are, however, a number of informative sources, including the soon-to-open Fresno Cafe info shop in Chinatown, that give more depth insights into anarchism. Remember, not to fear the man in the mask, for freedom has no face. So that's my speech for uh, my speech class. Now... Uh, like I said, it's going to be read differently um, in the class because it is a debate speech and will require uh, classroom participation.